All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, we're going to just continue just rushing the main story. Uh, we are beginning sequence eight, and the goal is to beat sequence nine pretty soon. The reason for that is um, I want to be able to unlock... A bunch of the uh, skills that are hidden behind sequence nine. You have to finish that sequence to, to unlock them. And I want them, and I want them now. So we're gonna be pushing main story until that is done at least. So that's gonna be the next couple of episodes for sure. King's Correspondence. You summoned? Monsieur Dorian. We have a task for you. More fetch and carry work, I imagine. Two master assassins are dead, one by your own hand in defense of a Templar. Count yourself lucky this is the extent of your punishment. And Germain? It's none of your concern. Last night, the Paris Commune declared itself an open insurrection against the king. As we speak, 20,000 armed revolutionaries are laying siege to the Tuileries. Even the National Guard are on the brink. Some of them have thrown in with the revolutionaries. France is splitting at the seams. And this doesn't please us. The people are fighting for what is owed them. Liberté, égalité. If we danced about on a simple scale in need of balancing, you'd be right. But the truth is more complicated. In putting Mirabeau's affairs in order, we've come across certain correspondences of a royal nature. Mirabeau's in contact with the king. And he was He's rather said less discreet than he should have been. If the king's copies of these letters were made public, the Templars would be in a position to expose and purge our agents across France. And I'm to slip in and find them first. And quickly. The Swiss Guard are badly outnumbered. It's likely they'll be overwhelmed before nightfall. All right. Let's do it. That'll be the first palace I've broken into. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. at the beginning of the game. Nice. Ready? Aim. I remember. Fire! Ah! Good work. Ah! How many people have missed in a firing line? Like they just missed their target. Okay. Honest. Bell sabotage. Man, I wish I could fucking whistle. Shit. Shit. Where's the beggars gone done it then? Walk this way. Let me stab you in the face from here. Fucking Oh, I'll get this guy when he turns around. Okay, I didn't mean to say that guy's ripe for a fucking that just sounds bad. For a uh, a fucking cover kill is what I was going for. What? The fuck? That's that's cheeks, man. The fuck was that?
Is this guy not move? I don't think he does. That guy to not look this direction. Fucking God, it did it again. Walk closer, walk closer. There we go, that one actually registered. Let's go. Those three are gonna be impossible to get. the other bells one over here I also kind of want this guy up there any sign of the tyrant master back it off lead in tower wait oh damn you can't actually that fucking sucks a different way to get there? None of these are open. Damn it. Well, that's a later type of thing. I kind of want to 
to go outside and just do this now. Is that bad of me? Can't fucking go. Hold a moment. These I'm not worried about the fights. Got better things to do anyway. Fucking. Really? I thought I could get both. Two easy ones right there. Let's go this bell over here. Those two that close. That guy's there too. Try to be sneaky just so we don't have to fight 18 million guys. Oh, wait, where do you stand? You mother. I was going to walk behind and kill those two. That guy fucking sees me. side objectives are done. Um, I don't think it really... That guy's fucking dead. Nothing else? Uh -uh. certainly don't look like a blood-crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. Yeah. Serving as rear guard, are you? Convenient how that puts several locked doors between you and the fighting. Oh, I'm not here at all. Not officially, anyway. But how often does one find the opportunity to poke about in a king's private study? Looking for anything in particular? State secrets, private correspondences, personal treasures, that sort of thing. I do hope we're not eyeing the same prize. Name it. Certain letters written to the king, ripe for misunderstanding, should the wrong men find them. I see. Well, then perhaps we can help each other. I believe the king has built a hidden vault somewhere in here. If only we could find it. See, leave it to me. Napoleon Bonaparte. You were saying. Very nicely done, my friend. Why is that glowing? Incredible. Find your prize. A cornucopia, yes. And you? Believe so. Yes. This is it. Whatever was in the, his box was glowing. I should take care of that. And may I suggest we leave? Quickly. What is that? Our way out. Cover me, would you? Yeah, I can murder people. Do I have any... Well 
There's no... Just defend him. Got it. Hello, friends. Let's do this again. There we go. That thing's gotta get cranked so many fucking times. Let's go. Search everything! I want those documents! Him! Damn! Yes, Captain Rui has that effect on people. Friend of yours? A persistent thorn I haven't quite managed to pluck out. He has information I need. I need to get back up there. In this mess. You'll never find him again. Come with me, I have a better idea. You handled yourself well back there. I don't suppose you've ever considered military service? I'm not much for following orders. Ah, the bane of generals and statesmen everywhere. An individualist. <laughs> I know the feeling. Men like us have a great advantage over most in the army. You see, we can think for ourselves. If you joined up today, you'd be a marshal in ten years, guaranteed. A generous offer, but no. Where the heart leads, a man must follow. Look me up if you ever change your mind. Ten years. God, that's Bonaparte so long. Is my name. Napoleon Bonaparte. Second lieutenant of artillery. For now. Arno Dorian. A pleasure. And as a personal favor, if anyone asks, I was never here. Watch the whole thing from a furniture shop across the carousel. You'll wait for me, won't you? Face me brown. Yeah. Of course. Thanks for waiting, Bucko. Beautiful. Let's go. Loot, loot, loot. to take cover. Everything all right, sir? Fine, Corporal. Superb shot. Regular drills are critical to a regiment's success. We should be going, sir. We part ways here. What about Rui? Give me a few days. I'll see what I can learn of his current posting. Perhaps I can arrange an introduction. Be well. Cool, cool. Alright, so we got two skill points. I like it. Also, I forgot the button to do a staggering strike. I'll figure it out. Okay. Um, next... Over here. September Massacres. That sounds delightful. Let's go. Alright, we will run over. We will start this one. And I don't know if we'll get through it all. 
Is that last? This last mission was 20 minutes, so I'm not sure if we'll get through it all or not, but we will have to wait and see. Maybe this one's super short. Maybe this one's super long and we'll just cut it in half. Who knows? If you have any questions or comments on different ways to play the game or how you would like the series to be ran, if you want to see me redo missions, if you don't want me to or to see me redo missions, all that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. I will for sure read all of them because I don't get any. So, yeah, just let me know. I'll make sure to uh, to change up how I do things if, if, if you want to see it done a different way. Definitely take it into consideration. That guy stood up so fast. Alright. Get in here? Can't. On the bot. This morning I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, Long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passé. What did you do? I shouted, Long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But this is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison, but the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Chatelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. I like our coat. We look fancy as fuck. I like it. Ooh, black box. Okay, we're gonna end the episode after it does this cutscene. Get their weapons. Nobody try anything. Come on, boys! Find me a warden! That was Rui. Oh, I remember this. This one took me a while the first time I did it. So there's five entrances, 40 guards, secret entrance, and two collectibles. I am not touching my controller. Arno is just in constant walk. Cool. Oh. Here we go. Cool. All right, so there's opportunity up there, opportunity down there, through the secret tunnel, I think. Let's go through the secret tunnel. But we are going to end the episode there. Uh, that way the we don't have to cut it off in the middle. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, whatever it is. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.